You guys know how much I love a good camo comparison video. And while I'm here in beautiful, sunny New York City, I wanted to find out which has the best camera between the new OnePlus 6 and the Huawei P20 Pro. And what's really interesting is that given the price difference between these two and the fact that I've said the P20 Pro has the best rear photography camera on any smartphone right now, it's gonna be really interesting to see how these stack up. In good light, they both produce fantastic looking photos, but I can already see slightly more detail in some areas of the P20's photo. The gray t-shirt on the guy in the bottom right, for example. Or if we zoom in, the writing on the shirt is a little bit clearer on the P20. And you can also see the guy behind him, who's also in a black shirt. There's more definition around the edge of it on his shoulder. In this one, the OnePlus 6 stands out as being a little bit brighter, but I can see more detail on the P20's shot. Especially if you look at the pavement, sorry, the sidewalk at the bottom right. But if you are just sharing these on Instagram or social media, well, it seems you can't really go wrong with either. Now, this is a tricky shot and a good test of dynamic range. I am drawn to the OnePlus first as it's a bit brighter, like someone's up the shadows versus the P20. But the Huawei does offer more natural colors on the trees and the grass and zooming in, there's less noise and it's slightly more detailed overall but that is at a five times zoom. So at this point, there's not really much in it. Into the New York Public Library then, and straight away, I can see a difference in the color. The OnePlus is noticeably warmer, but I can also see how the phones handle the highlights of the chandelier, which surprisingly, the OnePlus handles better. You can make out more individual bulbs, and it just has better exposure overall. But one thing I really do like about the P20 Pro is its monochrome lens, which lets you take black and white photos like these. And unlike adding a filter, you keep all the detail and information in the photo. So it looks much nicer and it gives you a cool stylistic effect. Now the light's starting to fade, I'm at a rooftop bar. And I think for this photo, I do prefer the OnePlus. A lot of the guy's shirts are overexposed and blown out on the P20's photo, particularly the chap in the blue shirt. You can also see far more detail in the lights and the brick wall at the top right on the OnePlus photo. But things start to get a lot more interesting when the sun finally sets. Initially, I do prefer the P20 here, which handles the lights and the colors more accurately, but in lower light like this, the P20, when in auto mode, tells you to wait as it's sharpening the image. But that means when you have some moving subjects, it can become blurry. Grand Central Station now, and this is another good test of the camera's low light abilities. The OnePlus 6 is again brighter and also sharper in some areas, especially around text. However, if we now switch to the P20's dedicated night mode, the four second exposure takes in more light and brightens the scene, while also evening out the dynamic range. The clock face is better exposed and there's only a small amount of blur on the guy in the shorts. Night mode definitely puts the P20 ahead here. But I have to say, I am dead impressed by the OnePlus 6 in this tricky low light restaurant scene. The exposure is fantastic. No area is more blown out on the OnePlus than the P20, but you can see more in areas like the ceiling at the top right. The P20 is in auto mode here rather than night mode, but side by side, it's hard to call a winner. Even zooming in five times, there's almost nothing between them. In fact, you can see the chair on the OnePlus actually looks a bit more detailed. In this one, the P20 Pro definitely comes out on top. The color of the grass on the OnePlus is a little unnaturally vibrant, although it does make the image a bit punchier, but the spotlights are handled much better on the P20, as there's a weird ghosting blurry effect to the OnePlus but the P20 Pro has another trick up its sleeve. This is a great picture, but as you can see, I'm in the cheap seats of the Yankee Stadium. But what I can do is zoom in using the telephoto lens, which gives you a three times optical zoom on the P20 Pro. Tap it again and you get a five times hybrid zoom using a combination of optical and digital zoom. I mean, considering how far away I'm sitting, that is seriously impressive. Something the OnePlus, which is limited to just a two times digital zoom, although the second lens does help improve the quality a bit, simply can't do. Just quickly guys, I wanna tell you about NordVPN who are kindly partnering with me on this video. When you're traveling, like I am here in New York, you wanna make sure your data is safe and secure. You're always at risk of hackers and people stealing your information. So using NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted privacy and security services in the world, even PC Mag gave it a perfect score. They have 24 hour customer support, super fast servers, and iOS and Android apps. So it's easy to browse the web securely. So if you want to keep your data safe, go to nordvpn.com forward slash techchap or click the link in the description and use the code techchap for a whopping 77% discount on a three year plan. I'll tell you more about it at the end of the video, but that's nordvpn forward slash techchap and use that techchap code for the discount. Right, 
back to the action. Both phones offer portrait modes and they use their second lenses to give more accurate depth information. I've left them both in their default portrait settings, but between them on this photo, I think I prefer the OnePlus. It's not blurred out my watch and forearm like the P20 Pro has, and I think it's just a bit more realistic looking, but it's much harder to call for this second shot. The OnePlus is definitely more vibrant, but the P20 Pro retains far more detail on my t-shirt, actually seems to be more color accurate and evenly exposed, so the P20 Pro wins this one. As for selfies, well, this is an easy win for the OnePlus, I think. The P20 just looks washed out, the sky is even more blown out than the OnePlus, and generally the OnePlus is just a more pleasing image. It's the same again here, the colours are way off on the P20 Pro. The selfie camera has always been one of my biggest complaints about the P20. But what about the video quality from the front selfie camera? Well, here's a quick test. They're both shooting at Full HD 1080p, there's no Full HD option. And looking at the two screens, you're going to have to tell me what the footage actually looks like, but looking at the screens, there's a big difference in the colour. It's a bit more washed out, I'm a little paler looking, I guess, on the P20 Pro. Same resolution, same frame rate, 30 FPS. But let me show you what happens when I turn on the beauty mode for the P20 Pro. I get a much wider field of view on the P20 Pro with beauty mode enabled for some reason. Perhaps it looks like my face is further away, so you can't see all my imperfections. But yeah, I have to say, I do prefer it, you'd get a lot more in the frame, so if you're doing a selfie video with some friends, then that's going to be more useful. So, slight problem with the uh, video footage I shot for this video. Uh, as you can see, I'm no longer in sunny New York City, I'm back in uh, grey old England, but there was a problem with the video I shot. Essentially, the OnePlus 6 didn't seem to have any stabilisation, which didn't make any sense because I just shot the S9 Plus versus OnePlus 6 video a week or two ago, and it was incredibly stable, you could really see the EIS kicking in, and for whatever reason, the video I shot in New York between the OnePlus 6 and the P20 Pro, it was a bit of a shaky mess. Now, I kind of expect that from the P20, as it doesn't have any stabilization at 4K, but I couldn't work out what was going on with the OnePlus 6. There had been a small patch, a little update, so perhaps that had done something, but anyway, all that footage was essentially useless, because I've come back, simply turned it off and on again, and the OnePlus 6, as you can see, is now shooting super smooth 4K, as it should do. 4K video looks great on both, but for me, the simple fact that you get fantastic stabilization shooting at 4K on the OnePlus, but somewhat of a shaky mess on the P20, makes the OnePlus a clear winner. Plus, you have the option to record in 4K 60. If you drop the P20 Pro down to Full HD, it is much smoother, but then you are losing out on quality. And finally, we have slow motion video. This is the OnePlus 6 shooting 240 FPS slow mo at Full HD, although it can also shoot 480 FPS at 720 if you prefer, but personally, I like the higher quality. And this is the P20 Pro shooting super slow motion 960 FPS at 720p. They both look good, but the P20 does give you more options, as you can also record it at 240 FPS in higher quality if you want. So then, what do we think? Which has the better camera? The short answer, in my opinion, is the P20 Pro. It's more versatile with its monochrome and telephoto lens, and when working properly, the night mode is unrivaled. But the OnePlus 6 was toe-to-toe -to -toe with it most of the time, plus it has a better selfie camera, it's better for videos, and it's a lot cheaper, between two and 300 pounds cheaper, so it's much better value for money. But which would you go for? Vote in the poll at the top right and let me know in the comments which you think won. So a big thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. You always hear stories about people hacking into your computers, stealing your data. So when you are out and about or traveling and maybe using unreliable networks, having a secure VPN like NordVPN is an absolute lifesaver. So go to nordvpn.com forward slash techchap, put in the code techchap for a 77% discount on a three year plan. That works out at about $3 a month and it means you have peace of mind when it comes to your data security. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.